Our topic, solving quadratic equations by extracting square roots. For the objective, solve quadratic equations by extracting square roots. Activity 1, find my roots. Find the following square roots. Okay, square root of 16, we have, we have 4. Then, number 2 square root of a negative square root of 25, we have negative times the square root of 25, we have 5. Then, negative times 5, we have negative 5. Then, square root of 49, we have 7. Number 4, negative square root of 64, we have negative times the square root of 64, which is 8. Then, negative times 8, negative 8. Then, last one, number 5, square root of 121, this is 11. Activity number 2, what would make a statement true? Solve each of the following equations in as many ways as you can. For number 1, hahanapin natin yung value ni x. Sa number 2, hahanapin natin yung value ni t. Sa number 3, hahanapin natin yung value ni s. Sa number 4, hahanapin natin yung value ni h. Number 1, x plus 7 equals 12. To solve for the value of x, we need to eliminate 7 to the left side of the equation. Para, gawin, uh, para ma eliminate natin yung 7, we need to subtract both sides by 7. That is what you call the subtraction property of equality. Subtract both sides by 7. Then we have now x plus 7 minus 7 equals 12 minus 7. This is what you call the subtraction subtraction property of equality. Then, 7 minus 7, that is 0. Wala na to. Cancel na yan. Ang matitira sa left side is x. Then, 12 minus 7, we have 5. Therefore, the value of x is equal to 5. Check natin kung tama. Yung x palitan natin ng 5. 5 plus 7, we have 12. Next, number 2, t minus 4 equals 10. To solve for the value of t, we need to eliminate minus 4 to the left side of the equation. Para gawin yun, by, applied, by applying addition property of equality, add both sides by 4. Then we have now the resulting equation, t minus 4 plus 4 equals 10 plus 4. This is what you call the addition property of equality. Make sure na yung left side of the equation is uh, yung variable lang mismo, siya lang mag-isa. Then, uh, negative 4 plus 4, that is 0. Then, this is 0. Then, t equals 10 plus 4, we have 14. Therefore, the value of t is equal to 14. Let us substitute. Tingnan natin kung talagang tama. Or kung yung 14 ba magsasatisfy dito sa given equation. 14 minus 4 is equal to 10. So, ibig sabihin, the value of t is equal to 14. Next one, number 3, 2s equals 8. Okay. In order to get the value of s, we need to eliminate 2. Anong gagawin natin? By using multiplication property of equality, we need to get the reciprocal of 2, which is 1 up, para ma-eliminate natin. Multiply both sides by 1 up. Again, the reciprocal of 2 is 1 up. Then, um, multiply both sides of the equation by 1 up. We have now 1 half times 2s equals 8 times 1 half. 
Then we have now, yeah, this is what you call the multiplication property of equality. Property of equality. Then, 1 up times 2s, we have 2s over 2. In multiplying fraction to whole number, we have, uh, ang gagawin nyo lang, numerator times numerator, denominator times denominator. 1 times 2, we have 2. Then, we have, yung 2s, meron siyang imaginary 1 na denominator. 2 times 1, we have 2. That's why we have 2s over 2. Then, next one, 8 times 1 half. Again, in multiplying whole number to fraction, numerator times numerator, denominator times denominator. 8 times 1, we have 8. Then, we have your imaginary 1 na denominator. 1 times 2, we have 2. Then, 2s divided by 2. 2 divided by 2, that is 1. So, cancel na to wala na. Ang matitira na lang is s. Then, 8 divided by 2, we have 4. Then, check natin kung tama ba yung value ng S na 4 dito sa equation. Tignan natin kung magsasatisfy ba or magiging true yung uh, equation. 2 times the value of S which is 4. 2 times 4, we have 8. So, ibig sabihin yung value ng S is 4. Next, number 4. Uh, by the way pala, sa may number... Pag ganito yung given, kadalasan ang ginagawa ng estudyante. Pwede rin naman to. Uh, by using division property of equality. Paano yun? Ganito lang. Halimbawa, 2s equals 8. Ang ginagawa ng kadalasan, yung mga bata, uh, divide both sides by 2. Ito yung division property of equality. We have DPE. Divide both sides. Then, s na lang yung matitira. 4. Parang kumbaga sa ano, kung pag-uusapan natin yung property, mas mabilis gamitin si DPE. Division property of equality, divide both sides lang by kung ano man yung constant sa katabi ni variable. Next one, number 4, 3H minus 2 equals 16. So in order to eliminate the, the, the first step, we need to eliminate negative 2 to the left side of the equation. Paano? By using... What property? Okay, since we have negative 2 here or minus 2, kailangan positive 2 yung uh, i-add natin. So, by using addition property of equality, lama, we have now 3H minus 2 plus 2 equals 16 plus 2. Then, wala na to. The resulting equation will be 3H equals 16 plus 2. We have now 18. Then, kung, ano, kung saan kayo mas comfortable sa dalawa, either multiplication property of equality or division property of equality. So, para mas madali, divide both sides by 3. By using DPE. 3, divide by 3 both sides. Cancel na to. 3 divide by 3, that is 1. We have now H. Then, 18 divided by 3, we have 6. Okay, tignan natin kung tama ba yung value ni uh, H, which is 6. Sub I-substitute lang natin. 3, then the value of H, which is 6. 3 times 6, 18. Minus 2, okay, 16. Therefore, the value of H is equal to 6. Our topic again, solving quadratic equations by extracting square roots. Bago tayo mag-extracting square roots, alamin muna natin na itong symbol na to, this symbol, this is what you call the square root. Ito yung square root symbol. Yan, ito yun. Then, uh, if we have square root of x squared. If we have square root of x squared, uh, ang mangyayari, makakancel lang itong si square root and then si exponent na 2. Then, we have now x. Sir, bakit sir na-cancel? 
Okay, ganito lang, no? Meron tayong law na nth root of a raised to n, the answer is a. Ito yung law, no? nth root of a raised to n. Then we have a. So, matik to, mawawala to, cancel yan. Or, sir, bakit to sir naging x? No? Para makuha yan, Okay, so we have here the index, which is 2. Hindi lang siya sinusulat. That is imaginary 2. We have 2. Then, if we have 2 here, ito yan. Papakita ko lang yung 2. Okay? If you change this into exponential form, itong radical form na to, kapag change mo siya in, into exponential form, this will be x. Then, itong 2 na to, this is numerator. We have 2 here. Then, etong 2 na to, which is the index, magiging denominator siya. Okay? Then, we have now 2 divided by 2. That is 1. Okay? Meron dyan, we have here x raised to 1. Pero, uh, sa mathematics, automatic na, meron na siyang 1. We need, uh, hindi na natin siyang kailangan pang isulat. Ah, uh, we have now x since uh, because 2 divided by 2 that is 1 that's why we have x so tandaan nyo lang to itong law na to n root of a raised to n equals a then if we have square root over ah, square root of x squared then cancel yung 2 cancel yung square root then ang matitira na lang is yung x the method of solving quadratic equation in the form or written in x squared equals k is the extracting is what you call the extracting square roots. So for case number one, if k is greater than zero, then x squared equals k has two real solutions or roots. Ano nga ba yung solutions or roots? Ito yung uh, possible value ni x or nung variable kung ano man yung hinahanap. Then, kapag ayun, isinabstitute mo, dun sa given equation, ang mangyayari, mag equal sila. Ayun yung roots or yung solution. Iisa lang yan, ha? baka malito kayo. Example number 1, x squared minus 16 equals 0. Okay. Observe muna natin yung example. Nakasulat ba siya? Or, parehas ba silang x squared equals k? Equals k? Tignan nyo, x squared, then x squared. May 16 dito. So, dapat itong negative 16, nandito dapat sa kanan. Kasi ito yung k natin. To eliminate a negative 16 to the left side of the equation, we need to apply property of equality. Anong property of equality yun? Ano kaya? Dapat na-eliminate natin itong minus negative 16. Okay. What property? By using addition property of equality. By adding both sides of the equation. By 16, the resulting equation is x squared minus 16 plus 16 equals 0 plus 16 then Negative 16 plus 16, that is 0. Cancel na to. This cancel. Matitira lang sa left side of the equation is x squared equals 0 plus 16. This is 16. Ah, by the way, by using addition property of equality. x squared equals 16. Now, <clears throat> paano nga ba tayo mag-extract ng square roots? Paano mawawala yung 2? Okay. In order to eliminate the exponent 2, Okay, this is the process of extracting square roots. You need to add square root symbol to the left side of the equation. Then, copy x squared. We have square root of x squared. And then next, add positive, negative square root to the right side of the equation. Then, copy 16. Itong red na to, ito yung in natin sa left side and then both side. Sa left side, square root symbol. Sa right side, positive, negative, square root. Then yung K. 
And then after that, mga cancel na to. Si square root and then si 2. The exponent na to, cancel na yan. Ang matitira sa left side, we have x equals positive negative square root of 16. Now, what is the square root of 16? We have 4. We have positive, negative, 4. Ito ngayon yung tinatawag na solutions or roots. We have positive, negative, 4. Pag bin-breakdown natin yan, this is x equals 4, isang positive, and then x equals negative, 4, isang negative. Again, positive, negative, 4, isang positive, isang negative. Okay. Check natin kung talagang uh, yung value ni x is positive and negative 4. Kasi ito yung nakuha natin solution or roots. Ito yung possible values that satisfy the equation. Pag sinubstitute natin dito. Let us try. For, for x equals 4, then substitute. We have x squared. Oh, by the way, copy muna natin yung equation x squared minus 16 equals 4. Then, substitute the value of uh, x, which is 4. We have now the quantity of 4 squared minus 16 equals 0. 4 squared, 16, minus 16 equals 0. Then, zero, 16 minus 16, 0 equals 0. Ibig sabihin, si 4 satisfy the given equation. Then, next one, for x equals negative 4 x squared minus 16 equals 0 then substitute the value of x which is negative 4 we have the quantity of negative 4 squared minus 16 equals 0 negative 4 times negative 4 this is 16 16 minus 16 equals 0 then 16 minus 16 0 equals 0 ibig sabihin tama yung uh, tama yung value na x which is uh, which are 4 and negative 4 that's why sabi dito if k is greater than 0 then x squared equals k has 2 real solutions or roots <clears throat> case number 2 if k equals 0 then x squared equals k has 1 real solution or root x equals 0 example Example number 2, t squared equals 0. Okay. Since we have, uh, since yung equation natin, nakarated na siya into x squared equals k, hindi, wala na tayong ibang gagawin. Extracting square root na lang. Or, from the given, since uh, k is equal to 0, no need to compute na, dahil alam na natin na yung k is 0. Therefore, it has 1 solution or root. Let us check. For x equals, or for p, for p equals 0, then we have t squared equals 0. Substitute, substitute the value of p, which is 0. 0 squared equals 0. Then 0 times 0, 0 equals 0. That's why this equation has one real solution or root. That is zero. Case number three, if k is less than zero, then x squared equals k has no real solution or root. For example, if we have s squared plus nine equals zero. Okay. Let us observe the given equation. Nakasulat ba to into x squared equals k? Okay, hindi. Therefore, dapat yung 9 nasa right side of the equation. To eliminate 9, or para mailipat natin yung 9, what property will you use? By using subtraction property of equality, subtract both sides by 9. We have now s squared plus 9 minus 9 equals 0 minus 
minus 9 then 9 minus 9 cancel na to anong matitira sa left side s squared then 0 minus 9 we have negative 9 take a look at the value of k which is negative negative siya no according to this case number 3 if k is less than 0 negative 9 is less than 0 then x squared equals k as no real solution ibig sabihin walang value si s na kapag isinubstitute mo dito is magiging negative 9 or walang number na kapag minultiply mo sa sarili niya halimbawa 3 times 3 hindi niya man siya magiging negative 9 again walang number na kapag pinagmultiply mo sa sarili niya is ang magiging sagot negative 9 walang number no? that's why we have no real solution or root.